Hello everyone, Pastor Vern here, and uh, while we're waiting on a couple of folks to come on live, which I hope they will here in just a moment, I thought it'd be good to uh, just get started today with a little show and tell. I've got a few items that I picked up that have been laying around my office that I thought would be uh, a good idea to, uh, to show you today. Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you so much picked up a couple of books that have been laying around in my office uh, that, it, that were given to me and uh, I think it's just a, a good time to acknowledge these and uh, just say how much we appreciate the ones who thought enough of us to give us these books. This is an old uh, Smith's Bible Dictionary and there's Kenny Simpson and he's the one who gave me this book. Good morning Brother Kenny or good afternoon I should say. Hello Robin. Hi, Carolyn. My cousin Carolyn from uh, St. John, or excuse me, John's Island down in South Carolina. We appreciate her watching today. Hello, Rosa. Anyway, uh, this was in a bunch of books that Kenny Simpson found, and he gave them to me, and I appreciate that. We've got uh, a theonomy book by Dr. Greg Bonson. Quentin Reynolds gave this to me. We've been trying to read a little bit in that trying to learn a little bit more about what uh, theonomy is. Quentin also gave me this book. It's 18 Christian Centuries. And the uh, copyright date on this is 1892. So we thank God uh, Brother Quentin giving me that. And also a book on the Reformation. Quentin gave me that also. Just a few things that I picked up laying around. Thought it would be a good uh, opportunity to show those and talk about it. Hi Paula. Hello Tyler, good afternoon, good to see you all today, and uh, it's still cold this morning, it's a little chilly today, I've got my heater on, so I hope that's not much of a distraction, you might hear that roaring in the background a little bit, uh, but uh, it's about noon, so we're going to go ahead and mention some of these prayer requests, we want to thank you all for watching, I'm, I'm showing several people watching live right now and that means a lot to me, I appreciate that, and just want to say thank you to those who have reached out to me uh, to just let me know that uh, you're getting something out of this, I've had several people over the last couple of days who have reached out to say, you know, thank you for the Bible reading, uh, it's helping me, and that's why we're doing this, uh, you know, just, just pure reading from the Word of God, we all need that. Uh, in our lives each day uh, so uh, we're going to try to keep this up each day as we can so you pray for us I want to mention today we've got some folks on the prayer list Glenn Carver having surgery I think uh, if I understood Robin correctly that's going to be very soon today as a matter of fact uh, so we want to remember Glenn Jeff Davis also hello Brenda God bless you too, sister. We appreciate you watching today. We want to remember Dennis Klein and also uh, Dennis's sister, Janice Lane, and her sons are on the prayer list today. Wanda Belcher is on the prayer list, so pray for Wanda. And uh, also, our church is getting ready to start the January Jubilee, Wednesday night, uh, the 24th, and all of our Pastor friends, please bring your youth out to this. We're having a youth emphasis this year. Help us spread the word. Uh, Brenda, I hope you'll help us spread the word about the Jubilee. It starts uh, the 24th, 7 o'clock each night through the 27th. Brother Matthew Parker is going to be preaching. And uh, we're having a youth emphasis. We want to get our young people out to this. So do help us spread the word. And I see Robin says that Glenn's back now in surgery he's actually in surgery now so uh, especially pray for him I got a text message this morning from a friend of mine brother Jerry uh, who was on his way to the hospital with his son Benjamin Benjamin's got a fever of well over a hundred and he's been uh, vomiting so he's very sick let's remember Benjamin when we pray and uh, Robin Parker she had an unspoken request so we want to remember that Got a message yesterday from uh, an old friend, Phyllis Garrett. I went to school with Phyllis and used to work with her back in Richlands, Virginia, many, many years ago now. And uh, Phyllis's mother, Olena, has been having some uh, health issues and uh, went to the 
hospital yesterday in Richlands, my hometown. So let's remember Olena when we pray. And David Isley, I want to remember David Isley. He's been on our prayer list for quite some time now, and uh, um, we, do, we definitely need to remember him. Marilyn, let's remember a lady named Marilyn. We've got Kathy and Bobby Peak on our prayer list. Paula Weldon is asking for prayer for her home. And uh, Geraldine Bowens is uh, on the prayer list this morning. All right. So do remember these folks when we pray. I think that's um, all of the prayer requests that have come in in the last day or two. So uh, if we've missed any, uh, please forgive us for that. I, I'm trying to write these down uh, as they come along. But uh, God knows who needs prayer and he knows our needs today. Let's lift these folks up in prayer at this time. Father in heaven, we love you and we thank you so much for another opportunity to uh, just bow before you humbly in prayer. We're thankful, God, for an opportunity, once again, that you have given us, that we can go boldly before the throne of grace and find grace and help when we need it. We can do this because Jesus Christ and his finished work, and we're very thankful uh, to know that Christ is the true vine, and without him we can do nothing, but with him we can do all things. Lord, we lift these sick and needy up in prayer today. We've got folks with unspoken requests. Lord, we pray you'll be with them. We've got folks who are struggling with health issues, financial burdens, dear God. Uh, folks who are uh, praying for peace in their home. Uh, and then we pray, God, that your spirit would just go and abide with them. And uh, Lord, we pray, God, that we'll all get sin out of our lives, that we'll all walk in the spirit, not fulfill the lust of the flesh, that we'll all be faithful servants to you and that you'll be glorified inside of our lives. We pray, God, for our church. We pray, God, for each individual watching today. Lord, and once again, we lift these needs on this prayer list up before you in prayer today and ask God that you'll bless these people and help them as only you can. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, a um, couple of quick announcements before we do the Bible reading. We just want to remind the... Uh, viewers out there and those who are watching the video that we do have a radio broadcast that airs every week on the 1260 a.m. in Churchill WMCH at 430. We've been on WMCH for well since February of uh, 2004 so in about two weeks we're going to have our 14 year anniversary of being on the radio uh, so we're uh, just excited about that and uh, we thank God for that open door that he's given us for all these many years and uh, we just want to uh, remind you to tune that in if you can and uh, trust that would be a help and a blessing to you also remember our YouTube channel uh, we have well over 700 videos on YouTube if you'll go to the YouTube bar and just type in the free gift gospel mission you'll be able to pull up the videos from our church and watch those at, the, at your convenience we have several people who have uh, told us I sit at home and watch your preaching on YouTube and I tell you what I really appreciate that because we uh, spend a lot of time editing and uploading those videos and we never know who's watching unless someone lets us know Carolyn I appreciate your prayers and we hope you uh, get to feeling better we'll certainly be praying for you uh, so do remember the YouTube channel and uh, for those who may be looking for a home church the free gift gospel mission would love to have you. We are an independent Bible-believing church preaching the Lord Jesus Christ as our only hope and provision for salvation. We'd love to have you uh, to drop in or visit any service or all services. We have Sunday school at uh, 10 o'clock, uh, morning worship at 11, Sunday evening at 6, and Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. So uh, also, I just want to remind everyone, I'm also recording this on my laptop so we can put these videos, edit them, and put them on YouTube. So sometimes I'll be looking at my phone, and then sometimes I'll be looking uh, toward the laptop. So that's the reason we're uh, looking back and forth there. But anyway, let's go ahead and pick up the Word of God. I've got the Bible here, and it's open and ready for Romans chapter 9. Romans chapter 9. We're going to just take a few minutes here and read all 33 verses from Romans chapter 9. And here we go. The Bible says, I say the truth in Christ, I lie not, 
my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I might have heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption, and the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the service of God, and the promises, whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came, who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. Not as though the word of God hath taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel, neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. For this is the word of promise, that this time I will come, and Sarah shall have a son, and not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said unto her, The elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hardeneth. Thou wilt say then unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? Nay, but, O man, who art thou that repliest against God? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Hath not the potter power over the clay? of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? What if God, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy which he had afore prepared unto his glory, even us whom he hath called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles? As he saith also in O.C., I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which was not beloved. And it shall come to pass, that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. Isaiah also crieth concerning Israel, Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. Good afternoon, Rachel. Good to see you today. Verse 28. For he will finish the work and cut it short in unrighteousness because a work, a short work, will the Lord make upon the earth. And as Esaias said before, except the Lord of Seboeth had left us a seed, we had been as Sodom and had been like unto Gomorrah. What shall we say then? That the Gentiles, which followed not after righteousness, have obtained to righteousness even the righteousness which is of faith. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, hath not attained to the law of righteousness. Wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law, for they stumbled at that stumbling stone, as it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and rock of offense, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Romans chapter 9 in the Word of God. Okay, you all have a blessed day. We hope the Lord just uh, blesses you richly. We'll try to get Romans chapter 10 in tomorrow, and we hope you all have a great day. Come out and see us at the Free Gift Gospel Mission tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, and uh, God bless you all. Thank you so much for watching.